Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is gonna be how many times I've used each of my lip products. I recently did an eyeshadow palette version of this video and people really seem to be interested in how many times I reach for each of the products within a certain category. Just like it's not very feasible for me to use up every single eyeshadow palette in my collection for me to share cost per use numbers with. The same can be said for a lot of the lip products I own. For me, it's not very realistic that I'll use up every single drop of a liquid lipstick or even a bullet lipstick. They're just the hardest for me to pan. I don't know why. There's some kind of mental block there. And I will point out, unlike my eyeshadow palettes, I haven't tracked every single lip product I own. Either I started using it before I started tracking or I bought it and then completely forgot to track it, which happens sometimes. And I have decluttered and used up lip products in the past, so it's not like I have every single lip product I've ever used in my life but I do have 24 products here to talk about. I do wanna point out that I have a ranking video where I ranked all of my lip products from least to most favorite, and in that video I have swatches of each of them. So if you'd like to see swatches or comparisons within color families, I have all of that in that video, which I'll put in the cards and the description box. Before I get started, let me know which product you think I've used the most and which one do you think I've used the least. Because I'm counting lip balms and lip oils, I think there probably are some that, if you watch my videos regularly enough, you can tell which ones are going to be at the top of the list. So let's start with my least used product and it is a mini liquid lipstick from Stila. I bought a trio of the mini lipsticks during the holidays last year so I only had it for a couple months and this shade that I've used the least is Serenata which is a light brown nude. It is a little bit deeper on me and I did have one of these before that I used a couple times but I ended up giving it to my mom because she loves brown lipsticks and to be honest I purchased that trio because I really wanted the other two shades in that trio not because I wanted the this one. It does have a place in my collection. Sometimes I like to use a brownie nude and I do have a warmer brownie nude from Ofrock in the shade Americano. I love that but sometimes I want something a little bit more cool tone so I reach for this. But I've only used this once. So I'm not surprised that this is my least used lippy. The next one is not far behind it and it is another Stila liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Bachi. And Bachi I've only reached for two times. Keep in mind, I've only had this trio for maybe five months. It's incredibly similar to the shade I'm wearing on my lips now, which is Perla by Stila. I really can't tell a big difference between the two. Maybe Bachi is just a hair deeper, but I really can't tell the difference. So I'm more than happy to have two of that shade in my collection because it's one of my favorite liquid lipstick shades. I did have a mini of this in the past and I used it very regularly before it dried up and I had to declutter. So this is a replacement product. I've used the shade Bachi way more than two times. This is just how many times I've used this individual tube. The next one is the same case. Actually, the next two are the same case. Once again, they're both Stila liquid lipsticks. These are two full size. I have the shade Como and I have the shade Venezia. Each of these I've used four times. I had a mini of Como and I used up the entire thing and purchased a full size, so I have used this way more than just four times. I love this color. It's super bright and summery. I love wearing it to concerts. And then Venezia is actually one of the first liquid lipsticks I ever owned. I wore it a ton and then I bought a replacement tube not too long ago. I know not everyone is a big liquid lipstick fan, but I really love them and I really like the Stila formula. The next one is one that I bought last September. It's from the brand Nabla and it is their liquid lipstick in the shade Sweet Gravity. This is a really pretty deeper peachy nude for me. I've reached for this one five times. I like the color. I like the formula and if I were to have access to Nabla liquid lipsticks in person where I could swatch them on my hand and compare colors, I'd probably pick up another shade or two from this. The next one is a lip pencil and this is from e.l.f. It's their matte lip color in the shade Nearly Nude. This one I don't wear a ton. I did consider decluttering it in my most recent declutter that I put up a little over a week ago. Whenever I want to wear a nude color like this, I either try to reach for my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks which are getting a little bit up there in age or I'm trying to reach for some of my older nude liquid lipsticks that I have in a Partners in Cream project pan. So this one kind of gets pushed to the side. I've used this six times, and once I work through some of the other nudes in my collection, I imagine I'll use this a little bit more. It's not my favorite lip formula, though, because it's a matte lip color. I do find it can be a bit drying, so it's not like the best nude uh, formula you can get out there, but I think this is like $3. So if you wanted to get a couple different colors of lip options in your collection, but you don't want to spend a ton of money, maybe you don't go through lip products as quickly, same as me, then you'd want to consider this product. The next one is a Dose of Colors liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade Campfire, and I've used this one seven times. This is a really pretty color. It's very unique to my collection. 
It's kind of like an orangey nude, but a little bit deeper. And there was a half off sale on the Ulta website maybe a year or two ago, and I purchased four liquid lipsticks. Two of the shades were kind of like orangey nudes because I was really getting into that. I was surprised to see that I've only reached for this seven times just because it is a color that I really enjoy. So I'm gonna have to remember to pull this out for. Maybe I'll feature it in my next Shot My Stash video. The next one is a lipstick from ABH. It's in the shade Soft Pink, and this is from their matte formula, and I've used this eight times. This is a really gorgeous, bright type of orchid pink. This is the time of the year that I would wear this more, so I will have to remember to reach for it more. I haven't had this for that long. It was a gift from my future mother-in-law. I know you can find ABH lipsticks at Sephora and at Ulta, but I think you can also find these pretty regularly at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and stores like that. My next two that I have used eight times are two liquid lipsticks from Dose of Colors. They are in the shade Stone and Old Flame. Stone was kind of a cult favorite that I saw floating around YouTube for a long time. Perla is like my perfect cool toned nude and this is what I wanted Stone to be. This is a little bit deeper and I just don't really think it gives like the purpley undertone that I prefer from Perla so I will always choose Perla over this honestly. I didn't realize it until I literally just said it but yeah I would choose Perla over stone every time so maybe I should try it out a couple more times and see if it's something worth keeping. An old flame is just like that campfire shade but it's a little bit lighter and I do really like this color. An old flame is just like campfire but it's a little bit lighter and a little bit more orange less red. It's just one of those colors that isn't an everyday shade for me. I do need to reach for this more. The next one I've used nine times, including today, and that's Stila Perla. Like I said, I've used up an entire mini of this in the past, and I repurchased a second one. So definitely use this more than nine times. It's one of my favorite shades ever, one of my favorite lip shades ever. So number of uses isn't really the best metric to show how much I love that particular shade. If you can tell, we're still under 10 uses. The last product within this category is another ABH lipstick. This is in the shade Honey. I've used this 10 times. This is once again a shade that I don't really wear that much. It's kind of like a cool toned brownie nude. Just not something I wear every day. This is also from the matte formula so it is a little bit drying. I do find that the ABH matte lipsticks are pretty drying so I like to apply it and then put a little bit of lip balm on top. I do that for liquid lipsticks too so it's not really that big of a deal but just keep that in mind if you have like chronically dry lips or a lot of texture I don't think that this would be the best for you. The next few products I want to talk about are above 10 uses, but they're still under 50 uses. You'll see there's a really big jump. I have a product that I've used 27 times, and then the next one up is 124 times. So nearly a 100 use jump just between the next two categories. So the first one I wanna talk about is from ABH. It's the lip gloss in the shade Amber, and this was a gift from my friend Katie. I use this 14 times. This is the only lip gloss that I own and I do really like it. It's not super goopy. It does have a little bit of a sticky feeling to it and it makes me feel like it's not just gonna travel outside of my lips and get everywhere. It's not a messy formula and it's also very, very pigmented. So it's a peachy undertone that definitely shows up on my lips. I like to mix honey and this together. I think it makes it a little more wearable, a little less gray on my lips and I like it. I don't really, wear lip gloss all the time. It's not one of my favorite lip products. Having just one is enough for me. It's perfect. Maybe I'll get a more cool tone pink or a clear at some point down the line, but I'm really just okay with this one. The next one is a liquid lipstick from Stila. Again, it's in the shade Fiery. This is a really pretty, more blue-based red. I really enjoy it. I should probably pull this out since it is a very like summery color. Keep in mind, if you don't like wearing reds because it makes your teeth look yellow, try to find a more blue-based or more true red like this instead of an orangey red. Like Benitza, you can see, is much more orangey. This one can have the capacity to make your teeth look more yellow. This one is much more flattering. The next one that I've also used 14 times is a very recent purchase. This is the ColourPop Just a Tint Lip Crayon in the shade Strand. This came in a ColourPop bundle that I purchased in February. And I've used this 14 times. I do like the color and I like how easy to reapply the formula is. It is really great to just keep in your backpack or your purse throughout the day. It's not moisturizing like a lip balm, but it doesn't dry out your lips either. It's kind of like a happy medium. The only thing I don't love about this is it does have like a very strong smell. It kind of smells like grapefruit and it has a little bit of a taste as well. Not enough that I feel like I need to get rid of it, but it is just something to keep in mind if you're very sensitive to that. The next one is a liquid lipstick from the brand Jordana. It's the Sweet Cream Matte Liquid lip color in the shade creme brulee. This is a really pretty pinky nude color and I do enjoy it. I'm working on another nude liquid lipstick in my collection. 
uh, in the shade Crush from ABH. I find that these two are very similar. So this one I haven't used as much as that one, only because I'm focusing on the other one. I think this is a great formula and it's very affordable. We talked about a lot of liquid lipsticks just now. Now we're going to be move moving into the bulk of my bullet lipsticks. And the first one I want to talk about is Urban Decay's Back Talk. This is such a pretty shade. It's like a deeper purpley nude. has a little bit of a cool toned uh, undertone to it. This is from their matte formula, but it's called Comfort Matte, and I do agree with that. I don't think it's nearly as drying as the ABH Matte Lipsticks. The next product is from Shella Tilbury. It is their bullet lipstick in the shade Live It Up. This is in their K-I-S-S-I-N-G formula, which I think is more satin than their matte lipsticks. This is just a really pretty pinky nude. Once again, I'm focusing on my liquid lipsticks, so I don't reach for this as much. I also haven't owned this as long as my other two Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I'll talk about shortly, but I do like it. The next product I had to talk about is a lip pencil. This is from NYX, and I think it's the only lip pencil that I've ever tracked if we're not counting the ColourPop lip crayon or the e.l.f. matte lip color. I've used this individual pencil 27 times, but I have finished an entire pencil in the shade, and I'm almost finished with another NYX lip pencil in the shade Glass Bowl. No, Sugar Glass. I always want to say Glass Bowl, but that's not right. <laughs> I love it. I think it's a dupe for the Pillow Talk lip pencil from Charlotte Tilbury. I use it as a liner. I use it all over my lips. I just really like this color, and the Slide On Glide On formula from NYX is my favorite lip pencil formula. So that was one that I used 27 times. The next product is the 100 Use Jump, and it is Bitch Perfect by Charlotte Tilbury. If you can see, this one's almost finished. I currently have it in a project pan, and I'd like to finish it relatively soon because I purchased this at the beginning of 2018. So it's coming up on like two and a half years old. And that's a little bit longer than I feel comfortable keeping most lipsticks. I just worry that it's going to expire before I can finish it because it's more expensive. I don't want that to happen. And I've used this 124 times. The next product is one that is not an accurate representation because I haven't gone through multiples of them before. It's the Catrice Balm in the shade Beautiful Lips. I featured this product in a recent Get Ready With Me where I talked about my current favorites. I love this balm. I love this particular shade. There is another one that's a little bit more brownie. I like that one too. There is a shade, I think, lighter than this that has a little bit of glitter in it. It's like a shimmery product. I don't like that one at all, but the other two shades I love. I can't find these on the Ulta website anymore, so I will have to purchase them directly from the Catrice website at some point. This one I've like dug out. I love this color. It's kind of like a bubblegum pink lip balm, and it does lighten your lip color a little bit and make it look a little bit more frosty but in a good way. <laughs> anyway, I've definitely used this more than 143 times. I'm just talking about this specific tube. And my last Charlotte Tilbury product is the one in Pillow Talk. This one is in the matte formula and actually if you can see, so this one here is Bitch Perfect and this one is Pillow Talk. I've used this one, Pillow Talk, 50 times more than Bitch Perfect and they kind of look like they've been worn the same amount of times. So if you want to get more uses out of your Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, I would recommend getting the matte formula because it seems to wear down much more slowly than the K-I-S-S-I-N-G formula. But that's cool. I never thought to compare the two like that until I started filming this video. So that's good. Educational all around. We're all learning. The next one is, honestly, it's not even one that's like my favorite. I just kind of have it around and I reach for it all the time just because it's there. It's from NYX. It's the hashtag this is everything lip oil. I've used this 196 times. It doesn't feel empty to me, but I also have no way of knowing how far along I am in the product. This is kind of thin and I do find that it's one of those products that you need to reapply multiple times throughout the day in order to keep your lips nice and moisturized. I wouldn't recommend purchasing this, however, there is another product from this line that I adore and that is the next product I'm going to talk about. It's my most used lip product, hands down. You're probably so sick of me talking about it, but it's from NYX and it's the hashtag this is everything lip loving bomb. So I did feature this in a how long does it take to use up lip product video and I tracked how many times it took me to finish one of these tins. It took me 319 uses to finish that one. However, I've gone through so many of these and I have like two or three open right now that I just keep in different parts of my apartment and like in my purse and stuff. I love this lip balm. It's $5 for this giant tin. Fantastic formula. Doesn't have any gross scent or taste. It keeps my lips nice and moisturized. I'm wearing it a little bit on top of the lip good lipstick that I have on today. It's just really my perfect formula. I have no complaints. I have no desire to go and try other lip balms because this one's just the best. If you get this on sale, it comes out to be like one cents per use, which is fantastic. You don't have to keep reapplying throughout the day. Putting on once or twice should be more than enough. When I wear this, my lips feel nice and moisturized, but it's not like so thick 
that it feels heavy or weird on my lips. There are some, I think the Nukes Rem de Miel and the Catrice Lip Balm that's in the glass pot. Those two are like incredibly thick and they're the ones you probably want to put on at night because they you wake up and there's still lip balm on your lips. I'm not like in love with that formula. Some people really like it, but I definitely prefer something like this. I'm sure no one was surprised that that's my most used lip product. Anyway, that's a rundown of how many times I've used 24 of my lip products. Let me know if you were surprised by my results or if it seemed about right. What are some of your least and most used lip products in your collection? Let me know. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.